A man who was left paralyzed after a knife attack is back on his feet, and the team that worked with him is speaking publicly about his treatment. The pioneering therapy by British and Polish scientists has generated a lot of reaction and calls for caution about interpreting the results. Kim Brunhuber has the details. A man who couldn't stand can walk these steps, one researcher says, more impressive than Neil Armstrong's. I believe this is the moment when paralysis can be reversed. Four years ago, Derek Fittica was stabbed again and again in the back. He was paralyzed from the chest down until the first operation of its kind made this possible. Scientists in the UK harvested nerve tissue from his ankle and nerve fibers from inside his nasal cavity because those nerves constantly grow back. They injected the tissue in the tiny gap in his spinal cord and that may have stimulated the damaged cells to regenerate. We can think of the spinal cord as a motorway. After the operation, Fidika recovered some feeling in his legs and with support is able to take steps. It's like starting afresh, he says, like you were born again. New life for this man and perhaps hope for 10 other patients they hope to treat in the coming years. But what does it mean for others? It's an anecdotal study. It is interesting, but I think we should not raise the hopes of all the patients in the world. This Canadian spinal cord expert is skeptical. He says the patient's new mobility could be thanks to the months of intensive rehab or because his spinal cord wasn't completely severed. So whether the cells are actually doing something or not is, is premature to say. Here is where we've actually put these nerves. Charles Tater, who has collaborated with the UK scientists before, is doing his own research involving stem cells. He too is cautious. He's seen other miracles that didn't pan out. We had an issue here of a quote-unquote breakthrough that showed people walking after treatment for their spinal cord injury, which ultimately was proven to be a negative study. But there are positives to be drawn from this, he says. It suggests stem cell researchers are on the right track. Five years, he believes, maybe less, until others in wheelchairs are able to take their first tentative steps. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Toronto.